So this is the barn here. This is the view from inside the close. I'm going to just take a wee walk around. It's got a tile roof just now, but we're going to have to make that slates. There's doorways, windows, which are going to keep them. This is a gable end. gable end window here which will go almost from the peak all the way down to a couple of feet off the bottom there for a big tall window. And the views would be better if we didn't have these willow in here which we need to chop back but anyway a fair view of air from here take my word for it. This is the track on the way in and this is the the west facing view Again, all the windows here are going to be kept with a new one just right in the middle of shot at the moment for the kitchen window. So that's just about it for the outside. We've got a track that I've uh, started to excavate here for the services. It's overgrown already. Well, basically, this is where our uh, waste soil pipes will come down so we're walking uphill at the moment up to about here we have tried to unearth an old water pipe which we're going to shut off so that will services will run down to there and then out into the fuel below all the bricks can be dressed with sandstone and the windows having to drop down a wee bit inside heights will be needing to be played around with. So I don't know if you can hear in the microphone the noise of the wind's quite loud. It's one concern we have is with the amount of wind we get here. But hopefully the wind will be strong enough. Right, we'll take a wee walk inside. Two of the features of the barn are these archways. Back in the day, it would be for carts, horse and cart, and this is really horse-drawn carts would be put in here. I would think. So this is us inside here at the moment. We've already started a wee bit of the demolition work. Um, where we are now is proposed to be the kitchen area. Basically, we have the archway. We've just come in and this big sliding door which goes over it another doorway here and then looking towards the inside of the gable again this is going to be where the window is and the lounge and the dining area here with another window here and the kitchen window about there we've got some scaffolding in there because we're working upstairs at the moment on uh, some small windows uh, where we have to replace the old rotten wooden timber lintels with some concrete ones and we'll go upstairs just shortly and you'll see better what I mean. Downstairs ones have to be done yet. As you can see that's a wood. But they can't see it too well actually. That's a wooden lintel in there and it's in quite good order to be fair but um, the regulations state we need to have pre-stressed concrete in there. And these are the plans here. I don't know if you can see them too well. Basically if we zoom in to this one here, we've got the lounge area, and this is our big window here. Dining, kitchen, and the archway we walk through here. to be a hall and a staircase up to the second floor, uh, with some a downstairs utility room and a, a downstairs shower doorway into next door, and the other archway here. Upstairs. Um, upstairs we have basically a one bedroom, second bedroom, stairs and the bathroom. Here is going to be a banister because this area here is going to be open right up to the peaks, uh, up to the top of the rafters. And we need some tie rods in here to tie these walls together. That's all getting designed hopefully shortly. 
So that's basically it. We've got a wee view there of the gable end window look like, in theory. And a lot of the spec which we're going to have to follow to comply with the regulations. Plenty of them. So anyway, we'll take a wee walk through it. At one time this building, we've always called it the barn, but as you can see in the wall, there's the ends of the remainder of these joists have been cut off. At one time this would have been a complete floor right the way down this end of the barn. But uh, some years ago, possibly 60 years ago, they were cut out and grain bins were fitted in here. So in this area we're standing here, there's two 30 ton grain bins held barley. And against the remains of this wall, or against the full of this whole wall went right away across here, there was a bruiser. And then here, there was another grain bin. Before that, we actually don't know too much about the barn's history, but we reckon in it had a big granary floor which was well sealed against the walls and further up as well. There's all sorts of marks such as those black lines you can see with those bitumastic sort of sealant all the way along. And we're just still a wee bit puzzled as to what it was used for back in the day. This specific area we call the tool house. It was at one point a tool storage. Uh, this is where I would like the door to be. We'll see what happens. We go upstairs. These steps are quite old. As you can see, they're quite well worn on the top side. But then, interestingly enough, and I don't think you can see too well, but certainly with this step, it's quite badly worn on the underside as well. And these stones have been turned round. And that's how worn they are on both sides. It's an indication of how much use these steps got back in the day. This is upstairs. There's our gap. That's where the grain bin would have sat. Bit of a health and safety nightmare at the moment, but uh, this floor is just due to come out shortly, so we've removed all the, the banisters and things. So. Won't be too long till we get it out. And you can see where the two green bins would have been one here on one the other side of the, the joists further over. So you can see the work that we've done so far is basically just tidying up, pointing some of the wall, and putting in these concrete lintels and redressing the stone above. Such as that. There's a few out. Fields, orange mobile phone mast, and that's the Carrick Hills you can just see in the distance, and it down into the air. So these are the rafters, a bit dirty, but they're all getting cleaned up and kept. I'm going to have them exposed. Another concrete lintel, some work done to that as well. Eight of these to do up here. So that's about it, really. Not much else to see. Another lintel. So that really is it at the moment. I'm going to make another series of videos showing the various stages of, of the development as it progresses and um, hopefully it will be interesting for all those that are interested in this sort of thing to watch and feel free to comment. Thank you very much for watching.